Beloved in Christ, one of the most daunting issues that believers uh, have is not realizing that they are a work that is in progress, that they are, that we are literally under construction. And God Himself is the ultimate contractor. When we begin to see ourselves in that manner, beloved, we begin to realize that there are things that are in our lives that God is working with us about or working us through uh, situations. So that means that we should never give up on what God is doing in our lives and believe that somehow we have arrived. There is not a human being on the planet Earth or was ever on the planet Earth who was complete. Beloved, Jesus complete is human experiment on this earth when he sat at the right hand of the Father. Then, beloved, God said, Beloved, sit at my right hand, and I will make now your enemies your footstool. Jesus himself, because he chose to come to this earth and become a man, became a work in progress. But, beloved, a perfect work was done by him. And so, beloved, we have to look at ourselves and see that we have not arrived. Many of us believe that we have matured to a certain part in life, and then we stop really growing. And many believers don't grow uh, any longer because of their understanding of what growth is really about. If you pass by a construction site, you may not know what is being built there. But after a while, you will begin to notice the foundation of the pillars and then possibly some signs that will come up and then you will know what is there. That is the same thing with us. That's what God is doing with our lives, beloved. God's Word says this to us in Ephesians 2.10. For we are His workmanship, that meaning we who are children of God, created in Christ Jesus. We are created in Him because He is the head of the church and we are of the body. So we are created in Him. And why we are created in Him? Unto or for good works. That's what our calling is in this earth. To walk and to do and to live in good works. So God is working in us to create the ability, the knowledge, the will, and the desire for us to go out and do good works, beloved. The Word of God also tells us in uh, Philippians uh, 1.6, Being confident of this very thing, that he which had begun a good work in you will perform it until the day of Christ Jesus. So, beloved, the construction is constantly going on. And as the Word says, in Ephesians 2.10, which God had before ordained that we should walk there in them or live there in them. That's what our purpose is, beloved, good works. You don't get an opportunity to do good works once you are resting in peace. You don't get an opportunity to give and to bless others or to bless ministries that God has called you to do once you are no longer here. 
the opportunity for us to be a blessing to the world and a blessing unto God's work is here and now. Beloved, that's the good works that we are called to live in and that we were ordained for. Beloved, be a blessing to someone today in Jesus' name.